Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's weekend vlog. I love doing weekend vlogs because I feel like during the week I'm so boring. Like I'm just doing work or reading or never anything really fun going on. Not that my weekends are so much fun, but I do more things that we can do together on the weekends or I can show you guys. I don't know. This is gonna be a weekend in my life. I took a Pilates class, which was really nice. I was gonna do the yoga class, but it's an hour after and it's kind of like midday and I feel like it was too late to do, so I didn't do that. But I wanted to, because I need to stretch because Chris and I started a running journey, which I'll get into because I have sneakers that are delivering either today or tomorrow, which I'm really excited about. But that mixed with the workouts that I'm doing, I've just been really sore. Also, because I just don't do cardio, I don't run. Like I do very low impact workouts. Like I do my yoga and Pilates and my bar classes. So the running has been a journey. We've only done it twice. I did Pilates this morning and then went to Trader Joe's and in the Trader Joe's parking lot, I bought Luke Hemming's tickets to his tour he just announced. I forgot that the pre-sale for the general sale went today, went live today at 10 and my Pilates class was till 10 15 so I forgot but I did buy resale I didn't buy like the normal like general sale like what the prices were but it wasn't that expensive wasn't that bad and it's in May it's this year in May I'm so excited it'll maybe help my little itch of missing five seconds of summer even though it's not all of them I'm so excited after Pilates I got a matcha I didn't want to do a coffee I haven't really had iced coffee in a while and I don't really want it but I wanted to get a drink so got a matcha with vanilla and cinnamon and it's delicious and then their worker was like do you want to try like last lavender matcha because I was like I don't know if I want vanilla in this like I didn't know what I wanted she was like what about lavender and I was like I don't know if I'm gonna like lavender because sometimes it tastes like perfumey to me so she was like you can just try it like I'll make you a little one you could try it if you like it and then next time if you like want to get it you can get it next time so she made me one I tried it it's not like the best flavor but it was it was good so I'm out of breath now then I went to Trader here's a little Trader Joe's haul mom <gasps> flowers <laughs> Do you like Are them? recording? Yeah, do you like oh. them? <gasps> Show them your flowers. This is gonna be a very underwhelming haul. Oh, you wanna say hi? Hi. Say hi. Is that your sister? Hi. First, very exciting item. I don't know if this is boring to anyone else, but I like watching Trader Joe's hauls. So this is what I got. Some bread. This is my favorite bread. It's sourdough, but they're not like big slices. They're like, I feel like normal size. My favorite snack ever. These dark chocolate covered pretzels. They are delicious. Then I got these granola. It's cookies and cream inspired granola clusters. Doesn't that look so good? I'm very excited to eat this with like my yogurt or something like that or my chia seeds. Then I got the rice cakes, but they have dark chocolate on one side and they are so good. These are like my, one of my favorite things ever some lettuce some more almond butter which i didn't really need i still have some but when almond butter goes out like i don't want to go to trader joe's just to buy almond butter like i want to go to trader joe's and like buy all the stuff that i need do you know what i mean so i'm stocking up on this because i feel like it's gonna run out soon and i won't need to do another trader joe's run then i got these little seed cracker things i put cheese on these and eat them as a snack and they're really good couscous i sometimes make stuff with cuckoo cuckoo couscous for lunch then i got some peppers which i'm really upset because i like red peppers the best but they didn't look good so i got one red one and a couple orange ones then i bought some pomegranate seeds i love these i put these in my little yogurt bowls or just eat them i'm obsessed with pomegranate seeds and then i got some apples and then the last thing i got was some mozz cheese balls i love these i eat these with my cracker sometimes too but i like that they're like pre-packaged into like little circles Something about that will do it for me instead of having to cut my own cheese. I like that it's in a circle. I don't know. I don't know. That's all I got. That was kind of boring, but it's what I needed and what I wanted for this week. So I think right now I'm going to put these away. It's hair wash day. I'm going to wash my hair and then we have to do my hair because I have to film something else and I have to film another TikTok something. So I want to do my hair early on and then... We'll get on with the day. We are going to dinner later with Lauren and Danny and Natalie, which is Danny's friend, but has become our friend. So we have dinner later, which I'm really excited about. I love getting dressed up and like putting makeup on, going to dinner with the girls, having a glass of wine, eating some good food. So that's the plans for today so far. Yeah, I'm gonna go do all that. And then I will be back once I have clean washed hair. Okay. 
I'm now gonna blow out my hair. I did get it done, if you've noticed in previous videos or most recent videos. It's more red now, which you'll see once it's blow dried. I feel like now you can't really tell. In person, you can tell it's kind of red, but it's just really dark right now. I had like the balayaged red when I first did it and that kind of like grew out and I glazed over it and it was like not really red anymore. So I wanted to be more red. So the other day I got my hair done and we did like a root something. I don't know what it's called. She kind of just did it and I told her I wanted to be more red and she just did my hair. I trust my hairdresser. So you'll see when it's all blow dried what it kind of looks like. Definitely more bright. And then she did the color and then we were going to do, I don't know if it was a glaze or tone or something to make it a little bit darker, like not as bright. But she was washing my hair and she was like, I kind of like this color. So let me just blow dry it out, show you what it looks like. And then if you think it's too bright, we'll tone it down a little bit. And she blew it out. And I was like, no, this is kind of fun. And she said to just like sit with it for a week or two. And if I want to make it not as bright, I can do that. But I'm getting used to it. Sometimes I look at myself in the mirror and I'm like, not used to it at all because when I first did the balayage it was just like half or partial or something so it wasn't like my whole bottom half of my hair it was just like parts you can see so when I put my hair up or I don't know when my hair was like the red was washing out like my scalp it was still brunette like I still had brunette hair but now when I put my hair back it's all red like root to ends like it's just red that's kind of what I did but I got new shampoo she told me to get because I needed a new one anyway I feel like after months of using the same shampoo I have to switch it up because my hair gets so used to it and then it like doesn't do what it's supposed to do I feel like so I switched over to Amiga for right now. I got the mirror ball one. They're so cute. Their packaging eats every single time, but I think I've become a Mika girl because not only did I get those two, but I've been using this when I blow dry my hair. This is their Velveteen Dream. It's like a smoothing stuff I put in before I blow it out because it, my hair gets a little bit frizzy when I blow out my hair. So I use this and then before I brushed my hair, I used this, which is their detangling primer. It also has a heat protectant in it. So my hairdresser, I'm pretty sure uses this. I thought I saw it when she was using it. So when I went to go buy the shampoo, I saw this and I was like, I might as well get it, but works wonders, smells so good. Like highly recommend if any of these products you want to try for your hair, this one, perfect. Heat protected everything. It's so good. So I'm going to put this in my hair now and I'm going to blow it out. started sweating so I had to take my sweatshirt off but this is what my hair kind of looks like when it's dry I feel like it's definitely more red I feel like in person it looks different than on camera I don't know why it's really bothering me I wish you guys could see in person what it really looks like I need to put some oil in it now but I think I'm gonna leave it like this I don't know if I'm gonna end up curling it for dinner or not I feel like I might leave it just blown out I'm not too sure yet but now I'm gonna do a little bit of just like daytime makeup because I have to film some stuff and I want to just put like a little concealer on which I got a new one I'm gonna show you guys what I do for my, my daily makeup I don't really wear makeup daily I feel like but this is if I were to put makeup on for like when I'm filming a little bit of a video or something small you know I don't, I'm not doing a full face and also I want to show this new stuff that I've been using it's from the brand Elemis I'm not sure I've never heard of them but they sent me their products and I've been using these two things I started using this in the mornings these are facial pads but they're like exfoliating pads so it isn't sponsored like at all I've just been using them and I'm obsessed with them I use these in the mornings and then to take off my makeup I know that cleansing balms are popular I've never really liked the way that they feel I don't know, they just kind of like... I don't know if you've used one you know what i mean but this one is their pro collagen cleansing balm and i use this when i have more of a full face of makeup on it to take my makeup off and i've been using it for like a week now and i am obsessed with it so it is life-changing and i'm acting like these cleansing balms are brand new but they're not they've been around but this one is the one i've been using and i really am obsessed with it it is so nice so highly recommend i never heard of this brand but i really like their stuff now i'm trying to do like a little tiny bit of makeup this is a new concealer i bought i actually got a too light of a shade i feel like i could have gone a shade darker but i used to use the kosas one which i still have and i still use sometimes but this is empty and this is like my third one like i love this concealer but i wanted to try a new one sometimes i like to switch up my makeup usually i use the same makeup for so long but i wanted to try a new one so this is the tower 28 concealer it's just a little too light for me but i really like the way it goes on because i don't like really thick concealers and then i do my eyebrows and i just got this recently they sent it to me and again not sponsored but I was kind of skeptical at first. Not skeptical, but I was unsure if I liked it or not. And it's the Marriott like brow pomade like on the little spoolie. And I thought it was like a brow gel, but it's not. It's just like tinted. They can brush through your brows. So what I've been doing is instead of filling in my brows with a pencil like during the day, I'll use this and kind of color them a little bit and then set them in place, which I actually got another new eyebrow product i usually don't buy new makeup i mean i do but like not frequently i feel like i like this stuff because it just tints them like just enough it's not like too 
dark of a tint or like too heavy and then i used the nyx glue well sometimes i still use this if i need like a good like set on my brows but the glue part of the nyx glue like i know that's what it is but it's just too gluey sometimes like it's too thick a bestie recommended this one it's by refi this is just their clear brow stuff so i've been using this one which it kind of freaked me out at first because it's white like it doesn't look clear but it goes on and then it's like becomes clear i've been using this one for the past few days and i'm really liking this one and then i put a little bit of a blush on i've been liking the darker blush shades i usually use like a lighter pink one but this one i've been using the benetton and then i recently just got this it's the kylie i've never tried anything from kylie cosmetics or like her skincare or anything so i got this it's her lip pencil but it's in the shade cinnamon which i thought was gonna be too dark but it actually looks really really good when you put like a lighter shade in between so i line my lips with this and then i put this i use this literally all the time this is the merit it's the cheek tint but i use it as a lipstick and this is in stockholm literally my go-to lip product if i ever have lipstick on or something that's on my lips like it is 99 percent of the time this and then that's what the lip looks like and then i just put a little bit of this like clear gloss this is from lawless that is my everyday makeup when i do want to put just a little bit of makeup on when i'm filming or like doing something that i just feel like i should have some makeup on so that is my look and now i'm gonna go film a few things and then i don't really have anything to do between that i'm gonna try to finish my book i'm currently reading one day and i'm just like not really enjoying it i started watching this show last night and i feel like the show is so much better than what i'm reading i will say the book has more descriptions obviously but like i feel like the chemistry in the show is just not like the book so far i only watched like three episodes of the show but i'm liking it more than the book i honestly almost dnf'd it but i only have like 100 pages no oh, maybe i have 200 pages left i don't know what i'm gonna do about this those are my updates i will be back in a little i don't know what i'll be doing but i will be back filming a try on haul or i'm filming a tiktok haul clothing haul for princess polly and the stuff i got is so cute i can't wait for the spring weather to like really come so i can wear this out like i got this is not sponsored in this video at all but i got these cargos that i have in a different color and they're my favorite ever and i got them in this color and they're just like so perfect and this is like the cutest little top ever like the stuff i got is so cute i love when i shop online and i try things on and they actually fit and look good because you never know when you're buying online but this stuff like princess polly never lets me down it's so cute are we kidding? Look at this little top. It has like the little eyelid, so it's like a little see-through over here, but up here it's not. Oh my god, this is like the cute- like this is like what I wear in the summer and spring. Like this is like so cute. I'm obsessed with it. Like this stuff is so cute. <laughs> I don't want to take this shirt off. I need summer to come. Like this haul was my spring haul, like going into spring and summer, and now I like really need spring and summer to come. Like winter needs to end. We finally got the daylight savings. Like it's now lighter at like six, six o'clock. I feel like it gets dark a little bit. And now I just need the warm weather to come. And I will just like, this will just be amazing. We're nearing it. I can feel it. I see the light at the end of the tunnel. I'm very excited. Like this is so cute. I love wearing pink now with my red hair. I don't know what it is. I used to hate wearing colors and I still do. I still like to wear like black and gray and white, but I feel like with red hair, I think pink looks so cute. Like this red hair and like pink clothes. I just feel like it's such a cute color combo. So I've been loving wearing pink recently. Fun fact. And this top, adorable. Okay, I'm gonna go edit this TikTok that I just made for Princess Polly. This, this clothes are so cute. This one has a little bow in the middle. Are we kidding? And I got these like gray jeans. Honestly, if you need some spring clothes, like Princess Polly's got it and summer. This isn't even sponsored. I just love them so much.
makeup it is crazy that it's just still light out always this time when it changes and it's lighter out i'm just like shook for the week until i like process that it actually is going to be light out this early no this late for the next few months it's now like 5 40 it's just crazy i'm getting ready in the light recently my recent dinners i've been getting ready in the pitch black and it's not as fun this daylight savings has really really upped my mood recently but i think we're leaving a little after six ish so i have a bit to pick out an outfit i definitely want to wear the jeans i got from princess polly i think the gray ones but i wanted to wear one of the tank tops that came with the with the with my order, I want to wear one of those tank tops that I got that's in the haul that I post on TikTok, but I think it's too, too cold still. The tank tops are so cute. Maybe I'll try it with a little cardigan on top or something, but if not, I have this long sleeve that I haven't gotten to wear yet, this black one. So I definitely want to wear those pants. So I'm going to figure out something with those gray pants and then we'll head over to dinner. I'm just ecstatic that it's so light out still. I'm also almost done with my book. Something crazy just happened, which I was kind of like anticipating. I just didn't know how it was gonna happen, but I think I have like 20-ish pages left. So I'm gonna finish this and then get ready. I will let you guys know what I end up wearing. Yeah, I will see you once I'm fully ready. I tried on the tank tops with cardigans and everything and one of them was really cute, but I feel like I'm just gonna be too cold. So I had this long sleeve actually from PacSun that I think I'm gonna wear. It's like one off the shoulder sleeve and the sleeve's kind of like slit in the middle. It's really, really cute. And then these are the pants that I got from Princess Polly. They're like kind of like cardigans but they're a gray color which I really like the color of them and I think I'm gonna wear black boots but this is my outfit and I'm gonna wait for Lauren and then we're gonna head over to Danny's and then we're gonna go to dinner and I'm really excited I'm also really really hungry I will see you at dinner slash after dinner slash tomorrow I don't know how much I'm gonna take of dinner but I will try my best It is now Saturday. Last night was so fun. We took a girls' dinner, but like something about being with the girls is just, you know, it was really fun. We were there for so long. By the time we were leaving, they were like, like people were like, they were cleaning up the restaurant. Our dinner was like 8 15, I think. And we were there, I got home at 12. So it was like a few hours of dinner, and the food was so good. I've never been there before. We got a few appetizers that were delicious, but my pasta delicious i'm such a picky eater but i told myself this year i have to try at least one new food a month so in february this is gonna sound so silly but like i really don't eat like anything like think of like what a 12 year old probably eats that's what i eat i just don't like trying new foods i like to stick to what i like and i have like a texture thing like if something's like soft or will feel weird in my mouth won't eat it or if it looks bad or weird i won't eat it it's a really weird thing and it's really annoying too but i tried prosciutto and burrata like that type of like appetizer on, on valentine's day and so now i like it because you know when you try new things there's a chance you'll like it so we got that last night as one of our appetizers that was good and i got pasta that was delicious i got some fries that were delicious and we got these donuts for dessert that were phenomenal it was just really really good and a really good time but got home late and like i go to bed at like nine every day this morning i couldn't wake up i woke up at really early like six and then i fell back asleep and now it's 9 45 and i just literally feel like you would think i went out like clubbing last night that's how i feel right now which is just like crazy but saturdays if you've seen any other weekend in my life vlogs i usually do yoga with lauren but we're gonna try one of the pilates classes today with an instructor we've never taken before which is exciting i've taken pilates so much this week usually i like to mix in at least one yoga class just for like a stretch i also started my running journey with chris which we will get to today i think my new sneakers are gonna deliver i'm so excited because i don't have like running sneakers like i have sneakers i went to the gym with and they're really old and not for like running like they're pretty flat and i had to use that the first two days that we were running and then my heel started hurting hurting and it just like like i needed like running shoes um which one thing about me if i'm starting something new it's really exciting because i can start buying new stuff for it like buy running clothes buy running sneakers so i did buy new running sneakers which they should be delivering today they said either yesterday or today so i'm really excited about that i think we're gonna do a little bit of a run today but yeah with pilates i don't really have anything else i do want to edit a video because one video i wanted to put up last week i'm waiting for an approval on and it's still not approved i mean it's probably up maybe by the time this is up i don't know but i want a video today to put up tomorrow because i don't think that one's gonna go up so i'd like to have that one done so 
so i probably will end up editing after pilates today and i'm also starting a new video tomorrow but i want to get a head start of reading just because i'm in kind of a slump and i feel like it's gonna take me a little while to read these books so i'm gonna start actually i started last month was it when the moon hatched i like soft dnf'd it i was like kind of slumping then too and didn't want to read it and wanted to read at a time i may like it so i got like 40 percent in and i think i'm gonna restart it just to like refresh my memory especially like a fantasy i feel like i need to refresh the world and stuff plus that one was kind of confusing to get into so i may restart that one today which is kind of exciting and then I'm gonna hang with chris we bought like a sushi maker like a whole kit from amazon and i think we're gonna do that today which is also really exciting we're gonna have some cooking content later i'm gonna go to the class and i will see you guys after i am so exhausted i need like a coffee I don't know. Okay, I'll see you guys later. so excited so like i said chris and i started running well not like we're not sprinting honestly it was all because of bestie desk like seeing her start her running journey really motivated me to want to do that and every year when it gets nice out i try to run and i just genuinely can't do it especially doing something like that by myself like i'm just not motivated enough that's why i like to take my workout classes because having other people around me motivates me so chris said he would do it with me so we've been doing it literally we've done it twice maybe three times and we just looked up like i look i looked up on pinterest like road to i don't know what it was i think it's couch to 5k or something and we kind of planned that out so we've been doing that but like i said my sneakers are just like flat they're not running sneakers like they're just not good for even like a light jog it's not good for it so i got these hokas and i'm so excited i wanted to get a really cushioned one so i got what are they called clifton nine they had like different versions of hokas we went to dicks to like just look and the worker that was helping us was actually like a sprinter so like he knew what he was talking about about all these running shoes i'm not on a journey to sprint anywhere like i just want to be able to run without being out of breath so i got these they're like the more cushioned version and they're so nice like look at them so they're like thicker on the bottom and they have a good cushion in here and the shoes that i have i don't know what they are i think they're adidas something but again they're so flat i've had them for like three years now so they're really worn out i wore them like every day when i used to go to the gym i'm very excited about this i'm gonna wear these right now i have to run to the post office which is very boring but i'm gonna wear them there try them out i'm really excited not the post office well yeah i'm going to the ups store not the post office but you know what i mean and then i've been editing a little bit that's all i've been doing and then i'm probably gonna start my book and then just like wait to till chris comes later i don't have like too much to do we're just hanging out today today just a chill chill saturday again i just now i need to go buy some new like running clothes do i need running clothes no but i want to buy like running shorts for when it's warm out like this is like when i started doing yoga like whenever i did like buying new like workout clothes for yoga was so fun and now i have a new journey to go on let me show you them they're so cute oh my god they're so comfortable this is what they look like and then they have like the huge cushion on them they're so comfy okay that is my running sneaker update running journey update today i think we're gonna go for a little run when it comes over so we'll see these in action then see if my foot starts to hurt because it hurt so bad last time and needed new shoes so i'm gonna go to the ups store i'm gonna edit a little bit more maybe start my book and i will see you guys in a bit that's all
hello we are back from our run and grocery shopping for dinner we're gonna make dinner tonight like i said we're gonna make some sushi but we got a little too many things um the run was great my new shoes are incredible there were girl scout cookies outside so we got a few of course got some thin mints got these adventure fools i've never tried these they're the the brownie ones and then we got peanut butter patties because chris likes these ones so those are for dessert and then the stuff we got for our sushi we got a lot of stuff we got some rice we got some noodles to make on the side tempura shrimp for the inside obviously we got some salmon chris bought a steak so i just bought some what are these called? Rice cakes, because I wanted to have these during the week with some stuff. We got, or I got this for during the week too. These are like rice paper wraps. They're like spring roll wraps. And these are so good. You put like chicken in it, make a little wrap. So good. Got these little noodle things. What are they called? Chow mein noodles. These are so good for no reason. My mom used to buy little buckets of them and they were delicious. So got that. And then the last thing we got is a snack that we can try all together. We got it because it's, it says mochi. It just says sea salt and they're crunchy. You wanna try them? You don't? Oh, I guess it's just me. These look like baby, you know baby snacks, like the puffs? Mm -hmm. Oh, you are gonna try it? Mochi? Doesn't this taste like a baby snack? Like, you know those little puffs? It's from Thailand. They use rice, they soak the rice, put it in flour, cook and tumble with salt, and then it's crunchy. From Sharon and Ashley. Thank you, Sharon and Ashley. Oh, that's a delicious snack. Mmm, that's really good. And they had other flavors too. Maybe we could try that one day. Okay, we're gonna feed the girls dinner. And then we're gonna cook. Well, Chris is really gonna cook. He's the chef in this relationship. Thank God. I don't know how to cook. I could cook pasta, chicken cutlets. But he like everything. What? I cook everything. Yeah, he cooks everything. He's gonna cook. I'm gonna make the noodles. I can do that, but he's gonna make everything else. Is now sunday you know what sunday is it is laundry day planning day relaxing day i don't have my sundays i realize my whole week is thrown off i need to have like this organized sunday where i just reset for the week i just love having my sunday so i just got ready last night chris and i i didn't really update after we had made our sushi but it was so fun we made a few different rolls i think it was a cucumber roll we made a salmon one shrimp tempura like we had like a few of them and it was really fun we got the kit from amazon and then we just like hung out and watched our show and then i watched one day last night i'm only on episode i think i'm on six i want to finish it today and get through the rest of the show i'm really upset that i read the book before watching it and i feel like i would never ever say that but i feel like the show is just done so much better and i just like the actors and their chemistry and the way the show is like the timeline of it and the pieces from the book that they chose to put in that one episode for that one year i'm really enjoying it so that is my plan for or no that's what i did last night and my plan for today so i just put my sheets in the wash i still have to do my blankets and all my laundry from the week i didn't do so i have to do all that a big laundry day i'm waiting for that to be done so i can switch the loads i'm also finishing up editing a video so i can send it into my patreon for this week i think i only have like maybe 20 minutes left of editing so i think i want to run grab a drink i kind of want to get a matcha i don't know if it's the warm weather i don't really know what it is that i'm getting matchas recently but i think it is the nice weather i don't know i haven't really wanted any iced coffees or anything and it's too nice out to get a warm drink i, I don't know why if it's nice out i can't have a, a hot coffee i don't know but i think i might get a matcha and i also want to stop at barnes just to like walk around barnes you know it's one of those days where i kind of just want to go into barnes and just like look around i'm not really gonna get anything but maybe we'll stop in and just look around i just put on this new shirt that i got it says drink me it's from poison of desire and a few of their sweatshirts that are like my favorite sweatshirts ever they are so sweet and it's like this little baby tee they came out with it's inspired by alice in wonderland and it is so cute i threw on a little 
cardigan i have these like sweatpants on so that is my sunday outfit i also just opened a package with these stickers that i got from shop haley's house on instagram and look how cute these stickers are i think i need to switch up my kindle case soon so i can put new stickers in because i've gotten really cute ones recently but here's some of the ones that she sent me they're so cute here's a bj one we got this cute ghost with a bow reading a book. This one is really cute. This one I think is one of my favorites because it has a bow and we know how much I love bows, but it says she's got a book for every situation. That one's so cute. Money is fake. Harry Styles is forever. So true. How many loves do you get in a lifetime? I love this one on a little heart. This one says sucker for an enemies to lovers romance. Here's a little hairy one. I love the photo booth hairy ones. I don't know why they're just so cute to me. And then romance reader, which this one is also adorable. And then she sent me a little sticker that has my at on it, like for all my my socials and stuff which is with little bow which is just so cute so again this is from shop Haley's house on instagram also Haley's reading era is her book instagram if you want to check her out these are so cute and i love the pink theme i feel like my next kindle case has to have a pink theme i don't know why that's just calling to me i love the stickers on my kindle right now they look like this and i put a little bow in here i think this is just so cute and i've loved it i feel like it's not too much but i feel like it's really cute so i haven't wanted to change it but i've gotten such cute stickers recently and i can always put this back one day i don't it's not permanent I literally don't even have the stickers stuck on. Like, it's under the clear case, so I might change up my case soon. I don't know. Oh, and when I said I was going to start when the moon hatched, I didn't do that yesterday, so I want to start that today. Those are all my plans. I'm going to go grab a drink, maybe stop at Barnes, and then finish editing, do my laundry, all that good stuff. Let's go. Let's go get a drink. I went to get a little drink. I got a matcha and it was made perfectly like the color of it It's a little watered down now. It's been a bit but the color of it when I got it was so good I don't know. I'm on a matcha kick now I guess but then I went to Barnes and I wasn't gonna get anything But then I realized that Lynn Painter's new book just came out So of course I had to get it. So it's called happily never after I think this is a new adult adult romance I know it's not YA but I think I'm in the minority where I feel like majority of people like her YA books better than her adult books But my favorite Lynn Painter book is the love wager which is one of her adult romances and and I just don't really connect to YA romances that much. They are cute. I think they're sweet stories. Like, especially her books are very rom com -y YA books. But I really liked The Love Wager by her. It was so good. So I'm very excited about this one. I think this is about... It says that her fiancé cheats on her. Her future father-in-law is also her dad's boss. So she can't be the one to cut it off. And then it says her savior comes in the form of a professional objector whose purpose is to show up at weddings and proclaim the words no couple. Usually wants to hear at their ceremony, I object. So during anti-wedding festivities, Sophie learns more about about Max, the objector's job. He's a modern day hero. They start to work together and go from wedding to wedding. And Sophie's having more fun than she's had in ages. One thing about me, if there's a wedding in a book, I eat it up. I don't know why. Whether it's the couple that are attending a wedding, like I just love it so much. I'm not too sure, but the fact that this like basically surrounds wedding scenes, I'm very excited about it. So I don't know if I'm gonna read it, but her books are so fast paced. These are like palette cleanser books, I feel like. And just like, if you're in a slump, definitely read a Lynn Painter book. So whenever I get to it, I am very excited about it. I'm gonna put this on my tbr cart so now i'm gonna finish up doing my laundry i'm gonna go start when the moon hatched i just started that video so i'm gonna start reading for it that's all i'm doing today i think we're just gonna have dinner later hang out nothing too crazy so i think this is where we say our goodbyes i don't really have anything else to do i'm gonna go lay down probably for the rest of the day until i eat dinner today is my off day from running from working out i don't do any working outs on a sunday it's like just full on resting. Oh, I need to plan my week. That's what I have to do. So I'm actually going to do that. I'm not going to take you guys with me because that is pretty boring. Thank you guys for coming along a weekend with me. I hope you had fun. I hope you enjoyed. I had fun. I had a great weekend. It was very fun, very relaxing, really good time. I'm glad I took you guys along with me. So again, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you did and I will see you hopefully in the next one. Bye.